What's the fastest speed we've ever gone? Two millennia before the likes of Usain Bolt appeared on the scene, humans pitted their strength and speed against each other. The first Olympic Games are said to be in 776 BC. To have been held in ancient Greece, and the tradition continued under the Roman Empire. The Greeks even established an Olympic truce that was expected to be observed so people could watch and compete safely. The four-year tradition and in a way the truce continues today only with much stronger and faster people competing. The closest the ancients came to vehicle racing was with chariots, and mankind has arguably improved greatly when it comes to wheeled speed. Today we're going to see what speeds humans are capable of in this episode of Could Be Anything, what's the fastest speed we've ever gone. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can be part of our notification team. We begin with our bodies. Perhaps the best ancient runner was Leonidas of Rhodes, who from 164 to 152 BCE. The main event was the 200 yards, about 180 meters, which was the modern 100 meters. He was considered the Usain Bolt of today or the Michael Johnson of not so long ago, winning races even at the ripe old age of 36. His medal tally was surpassed by swimmer Michael Phelps just 2,168 years later. Of course nobody knows how fast he ran, but estimates range from 24 to 26 seconds to 180 meters. Fastest recorded time over 100 meters is held by Usain Bolt with 9.58 seconds, meaning he ran at an average speed of 10.43 meters per second, or 23.34 miles per hour, 37.6 kilometers per hour. It is believed to have reached its highest speed, which was 12.34 meters per second or 27.61 miles per hour, 44.4 kilometers per hour, at about 68 meters. That's about as fast as a human has ever run, and about the speed of a galloping horse. We can compare this to one of the earliest recorded land speed records, that of the American sprinter Tom Burke, who won the 100 meters in Athens in 1896 in a time of 12 seconds. While Bolt could outrun a velociraptor, he couldn't keep it up for long. The fastest long-distance time on record was set by Kenyan Dennis Cometo in 2014. His time for the marathon was 2 hours, 2 minutes, 57 seconds. That averaged 4 minutes and 41 seconds per mile. A marathon time of less than 2 hours is believed to be on the way, meaning running the full 26.2 miles, 42 kilometers, at 13.1 miles per hour, 21 kilometers per hour. Try it at the gym on the treadmill a few hundred yards and you'll see how awesome this man is. The average adult male jogs at approximately 13.3 km per hour, 8.3 miles per hour, which equates to 100 meters in 27 seconds. Women jog at an average speed of 6.5 miles per hour, 10th 4 km per hour, or 34 seconds 100 meters. It is believed that even healthy, Fit adults who are not athletes and can walk very well only average about 15.9 miles per hour, 25.5 kilometers per hour, which is a 100 meter time of would correspond to about 13 to 14 seconds. The average healthy person walks about 3 miles per hour, 4.8 kilometers per hour. Now let's look at swimming. Almost half the world's population is reported to be unable to swim, including 44% of Americans, according to the American Red Cross. Although the report said some people thought they could swim, they could not swim well enough to be considered safe in the water. The fastest person in the world is the Brazilian Cesar Cielo. Much has been said about the great Michael Phelps racing against a great white shark, but in terms of raw speed, he's slower than Cielo. His time of 46.91 seconds in the 100-meter freestyle is the fastest ever swum by a human, giving him an average speed of around 5.3 miles per hour. 8.5 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the average jogging speed of an average man. The average speed of Phelps when he won gold in the 100 meter freestyle relay is believed to be about 4.7 miles per hour, 7.5 miles per hour. The two men have about the same speed as the average cod, but both would be beaten in a race with a great white shark, which can reach speeds of 40 kilometers per hour. The average person who can freestyle swim has a speed of only 2 miles per hour, 3.2 kilometers per hour. But how fast has a man ever traveled? That would be the astronauts on NASA's Apollo 10 mission as they hit a top speed of 24,791 miles per hour, 39,897 kilometers per hour. Elon Musk's SpaceX plans to colonize Mars and to get there they need a lot of energy. 
The rocket to be used is called the BFS, and SpaceX says it will achieve cruise speeds of 62,000 miles per hour, 99.77,000 km per hour. British Royal Air Force fighter pilot Andy Green holds the 1997 world land speed record. He reached 763 miles per hour, 1,227 km per hour, in his thrust supersonic car in the Black Rock Desert, USA. In 1898, a Frenchman broke the same speed record with his electric car, reaching a speed of 39.24 miles per hour, 63 km per hour. The fastest two-wheel drive ever achieved is 394 miles per hour, 634 km per hour, with the top one ACK attack driven by Rocky Robinson at Bonneville Speedway in Utah. However, these machines are not designed for the street, but some streetcars and motorcycles can reach impressive speeds. The Bugatti Veyron is listed as the fastest road car in the world, capable of speeds of 268 miles per hour, 431 kilometers per hour, and the fastest on two wheels on the road is H2R's Kawasaki Ninja. It can reach speeds of 249 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour. The fastest person on a bicycle was Dutch cyclist Fred Rompelberg, who traveled at a speed of 167 miles per hour, 268 kilometers per hour, in 1995. John Stapp is the winner for the fastest speed is U.S. Air Force, who reached 632 miles per hour, 1,017 kilometers per hour, in his rocket sled. The passenger trains don't come close, but some are very fast. The French TVG has an average speed of around 321 km per hour when carrying people across France, but also holds the record for the fastest speed on a national rail system at 574 km per hour. At that speed, it could realistically travel from Paris to offices in the UK, Germany, Spain and other countries around France. Japan's MLX-01 maglev train reached a speed of 361 miles per hour, 580 km per hour, but that was just a test. Many countries are currently developing high-speed rail as an alternative to air and road. One might think that the perfect country for such a system would be the United States, given its size, population, and the long distances its citizens typically travel. This is indeed controversial, as a 2017 article in Forbes pointed out. There are many reasons for this, and one is that, as you know from our other programs, the US spends little on transportation compared to its military. Andy Kunz, president of the USA High Speed Rail Association once said in an interview that spirit of Australia's lobbying by oil, airline and road companies is also blocking the progress of high-speed rail. Perhaps Elon Musk's boring company and its underground Hyperloop project could come before the high-speed railroad. On the water, the record was set by Australian Ken Warby in his wooden speedboat, the Spirit of Australia, which reached 317,596 miles per hour, 511 kilometers per hour, in 1978. It's not a record that many people try to break, as they often end up dying. Longtime British record holder Donald Campbell was one such person, and there were many others. Record holder Warby told Wired in an interview after his retirement, if you're looking at that lake, you better have done all your homework, because your chances are 50 to 50, and you better be on the 50% correct. It might be safer to travel on an ocean liner. The fastest was the SS United States with an average speed of 29 miles per hour, 62 kilometers per hour. The Titanic was a good 8 miles per hour slower. Finally, we're going up in the air. Surprisingly, the record set for a manned aircraft dates back to 1967. At that time, a rocket-powered supersonic aircraft called the North American 1015 reached a speed of 4,520 miles per hour, 7,274 kilometers per hour, with U.S. Air Force pilot William Knight at his side in the controls. Aircraft have an average speed of 575 miles per hour, 925 kilometers per hour, but can reach 745 miles per hour, 1,198 kilometers per hour. The fastest passenger plane of all time was the British, French-made Concorde, which reached speeds of 1,354 miles per hour, 2,180 kilometers per hour. A plane called Baby Boom is set to exceed that speed in 2023, but it will be a much smaller machine. That's the end of today's show. Why don't you tell us your fastest speed? Are you better than the average Joe? What is the fastest thing you have traveled, on land, on water, in the air? 
tell us in the comments. And if you liked this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.